Yeah, welcome back. Um, now we had created this assembly using mates, and um, I intend to show or demonstrate to us how to use inserts to create this assembly. Now, so again, you know that you are going to create a new uh, assembly file, standard mm.iam, and then you create. Now, recall that we placed the parts, so, and we had just one occurrence of all parts. So, we place the parts. And then escape. Also recall that you have to ground one of the items. Um, all right. So first, I would fit this to view set current. Uh, view at home fits to view so I have that then I'll ground this grounded as a base uh, figure now to use insert we call you use constraint to assemble and you have insert so you click on insert but I think whenever you are drawing you should always look at the bottom left corner of your um, screen or interface so it says pick the first geometry to constrain so i'm going to pick uh, the bottom geometry note that you are dealing with um, edges and planes so i need to use this edge and that axis then um, or no rather i'll think i need to select um, this first and then where it is going to be positioned and that is uh, this point so you can hear the sound if you don't hear that sound you may be doing something wrong so i'll say apply now so in this case it's you know positioned uh, quite straightforward unlike um, when we had to make the surface initially so um we would now insert uh this using the insert then we are using this edge and we are placing it at the bottom edge here so you can hear that and then we say apply let's try to move it again so you see that there's no movement so it's placed straight up now we'll do the same thing for the knot so insert again then we're using that and this and you place it now let me just quickly mention here at this point even though it's correctly placed i just want to mention the importance of these two items if you have a situation where it's not correctly placed perhaps if you click this you'll see that the knot is placed there but it's within or inside this um this item that's part one so to reverse the placement, you click on that, you know, so it reverses the position. So you can uh, play around with that to see how that works. So at this point, I'm going to click apply and then um, I would have finished assembling the, uh, the, ob the objects. So I have the assembly already. So basically that's how to assemble using insert. And of course you can play around with other constraints you can symmetry now let's just see the effect of symmetry here um, you know if i have uh, this and oh, let me do something first and uh, let me rotate this this way then i'll use symmetry to realign it now symmetry or oh, should i let me use this angle now I have this surface and then um, this surface and I want an angle of zero degrees so I'm going to have to click something a reference surface so it's at zero degrees now no matter what I do no matter how I move it it cannot move you know away from that angle 
So, but I'm not interested in having that um, angle. So I'm just going to delete the, I can delete, but I can suppress the, um, the constraints which I have put there. So I don't need it there. So I'm just going to delete. So, so that's basically, have I deleted? No. I'm just going to, uh, where is it? Delete. So it is deleted. I can move this again. So that's it. So I would think you should play around with uh, your uh, your constraints and then see how they work and how each of them works. So of course, tangents, you know what tangent means, you know what symmetry means. So by the time you work around with that, I think you'll be able to succeed with that. So um, that's all with assembly. Uh, what's next is for us to be able to um, transfer this to the drawing and also to make presentation files. I'll end this, draw this video now so that we can move on to the next one.